Governor Udom Emanuel of Aqua I Bomb State has stated that the state government did not collect bailout funds from the federal government because he did not want to mortgage the future of Aqua I Bomb people, particularly the youths. The governor, who made this known yesterday, while flagging off the commissioning of internal roads in UIO as part of activities to commemorate Democracy Day celebrations, said his administration would continue to deliver on its mandate even in the midst of challenges. He assured that he would continue to plan and implement strategies aimed at building a strong economy for the state hence his reason for strong industrialization drive. We have a blueprint for the development of the state and aggregating efforts towards that and so we should have no excuse not to deliver even in the midst of challenges and constraints. We should be able to do the much we can do, he said. Emmanuel said that the state is blessed with much natural resources, adding that it would amount to injustice for the people if the resources were not exploited for their good. He said that, in addition to other industrial efforts, machineries have been put in place to process and package food-related products with some of the products to serve as sources of material for further production by manufacturing firms that would still spring up in the state. The governor further stated that arrangements have been concluded for the building of a modern coca plant that would compete with others in the international market, adding that his emphasis on coconut production and processing was in view of the over 300 uses of the plant. With direct and indirect employment opportunities resulting from the multiple chain of activities in the coconut business, he assured that over 160,000 employment opportunities would be created for indigenes and residents. Don't miss, download Daily Post Android app and earn unlimited free airtime. Emmanuel maintained that his focus on internal and rural roads was to address the socio-economic challenges of people at the grassroots, stressing that I want people at the grassroots to also feel the impact of my administration and though these roads are short, their summation will make much impact in the lives of the people.